loose leash zany walk-in. Changing clothing. Clip leash to the collar for loose leash training. Shorten your leash to your own arm's length and glue the leash hand to your hip. Palm a handful of treats and hold them at your chest. And mark and reward every one to three steps, capturing your dog standing shoulder to knee with you or slightly behind you. Deliver treat at the seam of your pants. Bring your hand back to your chest when not feeding. Change directions when your dog starts to pull. Switch the leash to their harness for recess and give your dog a break. Just let them be a dog during their recess break. They can pull, they can sniff, they can zigzag. Just let them be a dog. Allowing your dog breaks to sniff will make their loose leash walking stronger. Start by practicing for two minutes, three times in a walk, initially allowing most of the walk to be recess. Slowly build up to a five minute practice three times walk and eventually that five minutes can become 10 minutes three times a walk. With a lot of rehearsal, your dog will learn tight leash makes the walk stop while walking with a loose leash equals treats and uninterrupted walking. In the beginning stages, it is very important to reward your dog for every one to three steps. As they become more skilled, you will start to require more and more steps in exchange for one treat. Pairing back treats should only be done once the desired behavior is strong, no matter the distractions. When you do start to pair back the treats, do so on a randomized schedule so the dog can't predict how many steps they will need to take to get one treat. Randomizing reinforcement is how we strengthen the behavior so the animal can maintain it, even for very few treats. This process must be done at the dog's pace, only as they show they are ready or their behavior will regress. There are no shortcuts to training loose leash walking. It simply takes time and lots of rehearsal. Mm -hmm.